Okay? The first uh, uh, circuit theorem is all about linearity property. Okay? So when you say linearity property, no, um, it is exhibited by a linear network, which consists of linear elements, linear dependent sources, and linear independent sources. Okay? So, of course, when you say linear, um, what can we, we uh, deduce from here is that if we try to um, graph you know, the values of uh, voltages and currents um, given a, um, a resistor, uh, as, as an, a, a circuit, I mean, then that the currents and the uh, resistors no, in uh, the currents and the voltages in that uh, circuit no, would exhibit a linear uh, graph okay so linear shine as opposed to uh, exponential exponential and or sine wave sinusoidal property or even uh, sawtooth on ana Okay, so yan na siya. Kung linear gani, straight line na siya. No, regardless of say inclination sa imuhang um, li, um, line, no, whether ana na siya, or mo ana siya diri, or mo ato siya dito sa taas, uh, is still uh, linear. No? So there is um, linearity. So, or even uh, ana ang value, no? constant ang value sa voltage. Okay, you know, what would be the um anyways uh, so we are interested to study circuits with linearity property so combination of both the homogeneity of property and additivity property so when you say homogeneity it says here that it's scaling so that would mean that if you have a value of uh, five volts no that would correspond to a current of um let's say two amperes no? or two milliamperes then for a value of 10 volts no? this would be equal to four milliamperes no? so linear ang iyang increase if we further increase this to 15 volts that would result to uh um, six milliamperes okay so this is the sources. Uh, this, uh, the given these sources, if you vary the sources, um, the value of the sources, then that would correspond to a linear increase. No, a linear li linear din ang increase niya, increments. Uh, this would result also in increments of, in this case, increments of two. So next case siya. Now, uh, when you say additivity, okay. So um, if if this is your initial graph okay and uh, we try to move this graph from here when the uh, uh, y-intercept is no longer equal to zero okay so for the for that for the for a given circuit okay so even though if the y-intercept is is not no longer equal to zero the, the y-intercept could be positive or the y-intercept could be negative. Okay? So, mamagura siyang gina-add itong value 3, no? In order to change uh, the graph. No? Regardless, no? Whether the, the y-intercept is um, positive or negative, then that would still result to a linear uh, curve. No? Uh, uh, um, so, yung aning curve na, na graph. Okay, so oh, mauna siya ang ginaingon sa atong linearity property. Yan. Okay. A resistor is linear if voltage-current relationship satisfies both the homogeneity and additivity properties. Okay. So, this one. Determine VO when... Is is equal to 15 amperes, and when Is is equal to 30 amperes. Okay, so here you have Is, and uh, 
there you have PO. So if we're going to apply um, the current division formula, then therefore, for the total here is 6 and 4 is 10. Okay, so current division formula, then therefore, uh, um, you have, let's say this is I1, then I1 is equal to IS is 15, no? Initially. Okay, so times 2 divided by 10. So this is how much? 30, uh, 3 amperes. Am I correct? So 15 times 2 is 30 divided by 10 is 3 amperes. Okay? So if that is 3 amperes, then therefore, your VO, you know, when, when I, I1, uh, when I is equals to 15, VO is equals to 3 times 4, and that is equals to 12 volts. Okay? So VO, when I um, at IS is equals to 15 amperes. Okay? So if IS at IS is equals to 30 amperes, then therefore, I1 is equals to 30 times 2 divided by 10. Okay? So this is 30 times 2 is 60 divided by 10 is 6 amperes. So we can also solve for VO. VO is equals to 6 times 4. Okay, what is 6 times 4? That is 24 amperes. So if we compare na ang value diri, 12 and 24, it is multiplied by 2. Now, if we double the, 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 the current, if we double the current here, then therefore we can say that the voltage here no, on the 4 ohm resistor is also doubled. So that would mean VO at 12, uh, from, from initial VO is equal to 12, that will become, uh, well, this is volts, 24 volts. Okay, so now times 2 sha. Now because if you look at it, I1 is also doubled no? from 3 amperes to 6 amperes. Okay, so what if IS is equal to 45 amperes? Now what would be our PO? Anybody? If our IS becomes 45 amperes, because we can vary no? the, the injection of the current here. So 15, 30, and 45. So what would be VO? Hello? 72. Ano yan? 12, 24, and? 36. 36. Now let's check if it is equal to 36. 36 volts. Okay, going back. Uh, uh, yan? I1 is equal to 45 times 2 over 10. So this is how much? 90 divided by 10 is 9 amperes. So VO is equal to 9 times 4. And that is equal to 36 volts. Okay, so after we don't have to compute it anymore, no, by by deducing no, from these two values that the um, that the <laughs> that the voltage is doubled. No, when the current source is doubled. Now we can say that if also that if the current source is three times no, the original value, then VO here will also be equal to three times the original value. Okay? So that is what is linearity property is all about. Okay? Claro ang linearity property. 
Yan. So, this one. Assume that VO uh, is equal to 1 volt and use linearity property to calculate the actual value of VO in the circuit. Okay? So, let's say, wala, wala nakabotangin diri ang, ang, ayun. Wala na, assume that VO is 1 volt and use linearity property to calculate the actual value of VO in the circuit. Mm. Okay? So, let's check. Wala ko kasabot sa hipotan. Assume that VO is equal to 1 volt and use linearity property to calculate the actual value of VO in the circuit. So, let's say, uh, isa ta, katong usual nga computation na to. Now, let's check if the value of VO is equal to 1 volt. Okay? So, at 10 volts, uh, so na yun? Uh, using voltage division formula okay so voltage division formula take note that this and this no uh, or this resistor is connected in parallel to 10 volts in the same way that this series combination of 12 and 8 is also connected in parallel to 10 volts so therefore we can use uh, voltage division for this two resistors okay so, voltage division, VO, is equal to 10 times 12 plus 8 is 20 divided by uh, pilna, uh, 20, right? No, 20. Okay, 12 plus 8 man siya. So, this becomes, uh, cancel out, this becomes 10. Oh, no, mali. This is 8. I'm sorry. It is. It is. It is. So, uh, sana tayo. So, VO is equals to 10 times 8 divided by 20. So, this is 80. Right? Divided by 20 is equal to Na 10 times 8 divided by 20. Kapila niya siya? 4, sir. Four. 4 volts. Okay? So, the assumption, therefore, is wrong that uh, uh, VO is equal to uh, 1 volt. So, if, if VO is equal to 1 volt here, then what should be the uh, source. See now. If VO is equal to 1 volt, what should be the source? And if VO is equal to 1 volt, what is the source? Okay? Yeah. You can just um um compute for the uh compute for the voltage uh, current here. Okay? Ba na man ang current ni mo dire. So um so na yon. So this is I. Let's say I. Okay? So I is equals to V over R, right? So that is equal to uh, 1 over 8. So that is your current. Okay? So 1, 8 is current. Nagidri. So, uh, therefore, we can use that current to solve for uh, the voltage across this resistor too. No? You don't have to use total analysis and the like. You can just use ordinary uh, um, the, the most basic so uh, laws no, to solve for that. So therefore, uh, if this is VO, let's call this plus minus V1. Okay. So V1, therefore, is equals to 1, 8 times 12. Okay. So this is equal to pila. 
12 over 8 is, what's the fraction there? Three halves. Okay, so three halves fold. So if we add that, V1 plus VO is equal to the source, Vs. So that is 1 plus 1.5. Then therefore, the voltage is equal to 2.5 if VO is equal to 1 volt. Okay? So if VO is equal to 1 volt. So since we have here 10 volts, okay, we can uh, multiply this by, how, uh, what, what factor we do, do we multiply 2.5 in order to make this 10 volts? Pila. Four. Four. Okay, so four. So if we multiply this by four, then we will get a value of 10 volts. And therefore, also, if we multiply 1 volt here by 4, we can get a vo value of VO equal to 4 volts. Okay? So that would mean for an increase of 2.5, no, for, for every increase of 2.5, yes, for every increase of 2.5, but increase ni siya og 1 volt diri, no? So, so kung 2.5 volts ang Vs ni mo, ang imong VO is equal to 1 volt. Okay? So, if increase this to 5, then therefore, ang voltage ni mo dire would be equal to how much? 2 volts. Okay? If, that, if the voltage, source voltage is increased by 7.5, okay? This will become 3 volts. If, for, if we further increase this to 10, no? ang increment ni Derek ay 2.5, di ba? 10, then therefore the voltage here in your VO will be equal to 4 volts. Now what if we increase the voltage to 12 at uh, 12.5? Now what would be the voltage here for VO? Pila? 5. 5. Okay? So that is what is linearity property is all about. Okay? So uh, for every increment increase no, in your source or yes, yung source man ang mag-dictate no, kung pila ang mga values of voltages and currents dire. No? So uh, here, of course, the value of the voltage um, will always be dependent on the value of the voltage. Uh, will always be equal no, to the value of the voltage here because they are connected in parallel. But since here, we have two resistors connected in series, then therefore, the, the value of the voltage across the 8-ohm resistor and the 12-ohm resistor um, will depend on the, on the um, um, or its linear increase will depend on the increase of the voltage source. Okay? Claro? Okay, so that is what linearity property is all about.